All right, ladies and gentlemen, Big Mike back for Wrestling Rants and Reviews. In this day in wrestling history, that's right, this day in wrestling history is falling on June the 19th, which just happens to be Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all of you fathers out there in YouTube land and in the YWC. And uh, today we're going about the old format. I didn't like the straight to YouTube video shit. Um, we might fool around with it in the future, but I don't like it now. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like just making my videos like this. And then uploading them eventually. Um, so, anyways, enough of the small talk. Let's get to some trivia or some useless knowledge. We do have a couple tidbits of it today. So, uh, let's get to it. Um, a little bit of trivia. In 1986, Antonio Inoki's back in the wrestling history. That's right. He wins the NJPW, the New Japan Pro Wrestling IWGP League, defeating Dick Murdoch in the final. Fucking league shit, eh? Imagine that. Anyways. 2002, TNA promotes its first weekly pay-per-view show. The event is headlined by Ken Shamrock defeating Malice for the NWA world title. And in 2005, Tiger Mask 4 wins the New Japan Pro Wrestling Best of the Super Juniors Tournament, defeating Ghetto in the final. Or Gato, I should say. I don't want to sound Ghetto. <laughs> um, events for this day in wrestling history, we go back to 1994. WWF held the King of the Ring Tournament in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we see Diesel defeat Bret Hart by DQ. Hart retains the WWF title. The head shrinker Samu and Fatu defeat Crush and Yokozuna to retain the WWF Tag Team titles. Owen Hart wins the King of the Ring Tournament, beating Razor Ramon in the final. And we see Rowdy Piper defeat Jerry Lawler. Also on this day in wrestling history, in 2005, we see TNA Slam Anniversary. Mark the three-year anniversary of TNA Wrestling. And this, again, was held in Orlando, Florida. We see the Naturals, Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas, excuse me, defeat Team Canada, which was P.D. Williams and Eric Young to retain the NWA World Titles. Christopher Daniels defeats Chris Saban and Michael Shane in a three-way elimination match to retain, retain the TNA X Division title. And in Raven, we see him defeat AJ Styles, Monty Brown, Abyss, and Sean Waltman in the King of the Mountain match to win the NWA World Title. So, uh, moving on, title changes for this day in wrestling history. 1993, we see the Steiner Brothers, Rick and Scott, defeat Money, Inc., Tandy Biasi, and IRS to win the WWF Tag Team Titles. Uh, 1996, we see Wolfie D defeating Brickhouse Brown to win the USWA Television Title. In 2000, on Raw, we see Gerald Briscoe defeat Crash Holly to win the hardcore title, but we lose it back to Pat or lose it to Pat Patterson before the end of the show. 2001, the Dudley Boys, Bubba Ray, and Devon defeat Chris Benoit and Chris Jericho to win the WWF Tag Team Titles. 2002, AJ Styles defeats Jer Jerry Lynn and Low Key in Psychosis in a four-way double elimination match to become that first TNA X Division Champion. 2005, Shuji Kondo and Brother Yashi defeat. Tamaoki, Hanma, and Katsuhiko Nakijama to win the vacant all Japan Pro Wrestling Asia Tag Team titles. 2006, Senshi defeats Sanjay Dutt and Samoa Joe in a three way dance to win the X Division title. 2007, Samoa Joe defeats Jay Lethal to win the TNA X Division title. And I guess this was just the name of the X Division title. Well, that sounds like 2010, Prince Devitt becomes or defeats. Naomuchi Marafuji to win the IWGP Junior, junior Heavyweight title. <laughs> Birthdays for this day. I only see two. If there's more, I'm sorry we missed you. You know, but uh, we got to say happy birthday to a fellow Canadian. I can actually call him a friend. Uh, we've shared the locker room numerous times with Indies. You know, we don't want to get there. But he's been to the. He, he, I guess you can say he's former WWE. Because he's been there, so many tryouts, he's had so many matches, you know, um, he's the only one, only star that's not been officially signed to have a WWE theme song in the Top 500. And he's a former TNA star, NROH star, he is Tyson Dukes, and he turns 33 years young. And ECW founder Todd Gordon turns 56. And all of you, if you're having a day out there, birthday... And you're celebrating today, no longer with Father's Day. Happy birthday to you. Hopefully you have a great day and a good year to come. But as sometimes we do here on 
wrestling has reviewed and has stayed in wrestling history. And we have a little bit of sad, you know, to go along with some of the good. And on this day, in 1997, at a 60 years of age, you know, we lost former WWF and IWA world champion Stan Stasiak um, to, to a heart attack. You know, so uh, we want to remember him on this day. And uh, all, all the best going to you and your family on this day. Uh, you know, um, remember you stay in the main stage, Jack. So that's that, folks. I am Big Mike. This was Wrestling Rants Reviews. That was a stay in wrestling history. And uh, don't know what else to say. Maybe you'll see on the flip side. Maybe I'll do a quick capital punishment. Uh, Predictions before the pay-per-view. I know I haven't really done much in the last couple of days um, because I'm thinking of doing things. I'm uh, thinking of contests I want to do for you guys. Um, just want to put the iron touches or uh, final touches on it. I'm probably going to do a Q&A today. That's what I got to do. I got to go back because I got four questions from three different people. Uh, I was waiting for five questions, but I gave it a deadline. It was Sunday. So, I'm going to answer some questions later. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, and all of you that are watching that didn't know I was going to do a Q&A, send me in my inbox. Send me some questions because I'd love to do to you uh, a couple more uh, Q&A questions or videos. So, uh, keep that coming along. And until then, we'll see you on the flip side.